Hi besties, Kimmy and Romy here. Well, Grandma Kimmy and Romy, as I always call myself. I hope you besties are absolutely fantastic. As you know, Theme Thursday this week, I believed, did speak about leprechauns. So me and Romy thought it'd be a fantastic idea if we tried to catch one so that we could actually show you a live leprechaun. So last night in the wee small hours, me and Romy sat down here in the dark with just a candle going to see if we could trap a leprechaun. We put under the box over here some bits and pieces, things that we thought looked gold and might bring him in. Now the leprechauns, or so we've been told, like gold or treasures. So under there we put some gold sequins, not really gold. We put some cotton that's a gold colour, some pins with a gold coloured top, some small beads and a necklace. And they all look gold, but they're not gold. We also put outside here, under the trap, to hold it in place, some rainbow coloured note paper, because we hear they like rainbow colours. We have a green snail over the back, and a little green rabbit in the front because we thought it might make them feel more at home and encourage them in with plenty of green. And Romy has got on her head a green and white spotted headband. And in her arms she has a green dinosaur cuggies which actually does belong to one of her brothers. But we won't tell them, they won't know. So we sat here most of the night in the cold, just the candle going, so it gave it a magical glow in the vain hope that a leprechaun would come along. And what happened, all we caught was a cold. Yes, a cold. So, I don't think we caught a leprechaun, so I wasn't very happy about that. But it wouldn't have mattered, because I'm telling you now, if we had caught one, we would have been letting him go. We would not have kept him, not for any time whatsoever. It would be a quick look, quick pick, get rid of him at the end of the garden. Let him go back to his family. Because I hear tell that if you catch any fairy folk, that it just doesn't bode well for you in the home. That's what I've heard. I've heard that the, it comes, your cakes don't rise, and your car won't work, and the radio batteries keep running out because I think they jinx the place a little bit if you keep them. So it's always best to let any fairy folk, fairies, pixies, leprechauns, anything like that go, okay? So when we got up in the morning, we came down and was most upset because all we discovered was that the trap that we had set had not been sprung, but we had managed with the, over here, the flower, that we'd sprinkled on the floor, we managed to catch some footprints. And they definitely look leprechaun size to me. So he's obviously been, he obviously thought and seen how foolish we are at trying to catch him. So we looked and this had been left for us. Look at that. Would you say that was a shamrock? I'm not sure. I think it is, or as close as you can get to one, I guess. And then underneath was this tiny little envelope. So I thought, hang on a minute, let's have a look at this. What could it be? So, it's all right, Romy, Grandma's gonna have a look. So we opened it up and there's a little letter inside. Uh-oh, what does it say? Nice try, but you didn't try hard enough. Better luck next time, Lachlan the Leprechaun. We've been duped. Oh, Romy, he did come. He saw that we had tried the trap and basically left us a little gift and a letter. And I bet he's laughing now. I bet he's really going for it. So I'm sorry besties, me and Romy did try, we tried our hardest to try and catch a leprechaun to show you, but as you know they're very magical and very sneaky. We'll have to try again next year, but anyway, any of you people that did celebrate St Patrick's Day, I hope you have a fantastic time.
I hope you drank plenty of beer or Guinness or whatever you want and enjoyed every minute of it. Now, Romy and me have got to clean all this mess up, feeling very foolish because we didn't even catch a leprechaun. But remember, me and Romy love you hugely. So we'll say bye until the next time. Take care. Mwah! Sit still, Romy. I'll sort you out in a minute.